Foreign residents living in Korea had a chance to truly soak in Korean history and culture while enjoying fabulous performances. The Hanuk House concert was made possible through the collaborative effort of the Korean Culture and Information Service and Arirang TV, the station you're watching right now. Kim Hyesung was at the Korea Furniture Museum in Seoul to check it out for herself. Classical Korean music played with a kayagum, a traditional 12-string zither, fills the entire room in this traditional Korean house, or hanok. The concert is a reenactment of how noble scholars of the Joseon dynasty used to enjoy cultural performances. The difference now is that the audience here are all foreign residents living in Korea. On a beautiful Tuesday evening, around 70 diplomats, journalists and their families got a taste of traditional Korean music, poetry and fashion. We organized today's Hanok House concert to show the spirit of a social class known as Hanbi that was respected for its knowledge and noble character. We look to promote such culture to foreign visitors and residents. I think the interesting part is to see the, the source, the roots of the Korean culture, because if we understand that, we will also understand the modern culture. And the modern culture where Korea is very strong, like K-pop, I think is linked to the traditional culture, and therefore I appreciate it. Korea is increasingly becoming a multicultural society with more than 2 million foreigners residing in the country as of 2016. To showcase more diverse aspects of traditional Korean culture, four special concerts under the Hello Mr. K project, targeting audiences that include the U.S. forces in Korea, diplomats and journalists, students and tourists have been organized for this year. The next Hello Mr. K Global K Culture concert will take place at Yonsei University's Korean Language Institute in July. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.